All right, thanks for joining us. Here's a look at what you might see tonight if you're going to the Grizzlies game. All the fans will get their own growl towel. However, that's not the only thing you'll see inside FedEx Forum. Clayton Collier is live at the Forum tonight. And Clayton, you're introducing us to someone who's looking forward to a Grizzlies win, maybe more than anybody else, or certainly as much, right? That's right, Richard. For the Grizzlies and Timberwolves, the path to this playoff series was a grueling 82-game regular season. But the journey back here was much harder for a beloved guest relations host. His name is Lavelle Hill, and tonight we're telling you about his struggles and his journey back to home here at FedEx Forum. Between sections 103 and 104, that's where you'll find Lavelle Hill. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Since day one back at the pyramid, he's had the best seat in the house. He's like one of those chairs behind the bench. <laughs> you know, he's a fixture. And along the way, he's made some of the best of friends. Now we like brothers, basically. Yeah, that's my brother there. I love him. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. To Lavelle, it doesn't get much better than this. Seeing the guys that I always dreamed that I would be able to see one day and get paid to do it, it was a dream job. It still is. He didn't come in there complaining or feeling bad about himself. Um, you just never would have known. You wouldn't know that Lavelle battles renal failure, that for almost two years, he's gone to dialysis three times per week for four hours at a time. You wouldn't know the pain he's endured. He lost his mother last September. This was the lady who made me the man I am today. His daughter, Brittany, passed away in a car accident seven months prior. This has been difficult. Too exhausted from dialysis, Lavelle had to give up working his longtime post. That's when, you know, I kind of reached out to him after not seeing him. He was missing in action, put it that way. Learning of his friend's struggles, Adrian jumped into action, starting a GoFundMe page in his honor. And the donations came flooding in, not just from fans, but from players, their families, Grizzlies of old, and even team owner Robert Para. To date, donations have totaled almost $70,000. It was overwhelming. I just knew I had built a lot of friendships and bonds over the years, but that really let me know that those friendships and bonds that we have built over the years actually meant a lot to everybody. It definitely meant a lot to me. It touched me deeply, and I'll be forever grateful for each and every one of them. With funding in place and his sister Cassandra a donor match, the transplant was scheduled for December, but there were complications. I was actually in dialysis, hooked up to the machine, when I got the phone call from our coordinator saying that the schedule, the procedure was going to have to be postponed. And it was just too much for me to handle. The latest crushing blow in a few years full of them. But Lavelle had set a goal to return to FedEx Forum this season. It's been hard to sit home and watch the games and not actually be there and be a part of it. So after more than a year away, Lavelle was back in uniform. The Grizzlies regular season finale against the Celtics. Just the day team always has been, always will be. Now do what we always do. Memphis on three. One, two, three. He didn't tell anyone he was coming back, not even Adrian. You know, I just walked in and I'm like, the bell? <laughs> you know, and I ran over and hugged him, you know, like, man, what? Following a day of reunions, of smiles and a lot of hugs, Lavelle got the news he'd been waiting for. If everything goes according to plan, we've got rescheduled for surgery for May the 17th next month. Ahead of last weekend's playoff game, he got to tell his team. I got a phone call. I got a surgery date for May the 17th. <laughs> FedEx Forum is home. Other than here, FedEx Forum is home. That's my second home and my second family. A family that couldn't be happier to have him back home. And joining me now, right now, is the man of the hour, Lavelle Hill. Lavelle. I know you went to dialysis this morning, but it is so good to have you here for another playoff game. So I, I, I understand you have a couple people you want to thank. I do. I would like to thank the city of Memphis, my FedEx Forum family, for all the love and support that's been shown to me over the course of the last year and a half. It's much, very much appreciated. I want to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart, and I'll be forever grateful to each and every one of them. Well, Lavelle, you've welcomed so many people for so many years here. It's only appropriate that we all get to welcome you back here. And for a playoff game, nonetheless, let's hope they get you a win. Thank, Thank you so you. much. That's why we're here. Go Grizzlies. There you go, Richard. We'll send it back to you.